Alright, so guys, today we are going to play. Uh, we are playing Solar Chaos and we are playing on the Drenai. Um, probably, yeah, I don't know what to go for. There are some good units. Um, I like the Alec Rider with the Stomp. Uh, Inner Fire and Dispel is also pretty good. Warp of Blade Critical Strike. Cleaving Attack. It also benefits from. Um, does it benefit from the cleaving attack upgrade? I do not think so. I do not think so. But yeah, 25% anyway. It's pretty good, I feel like. Uh, rapid shot. Cures. Crystallization. Crystallization is not such a bad spell either. Uh, not such a bad path, like uh, late game wise, I would say. Silence, curse, phantom, spell magic, lost artifacts, lost artifacts. I know I, I kind of want to play dumb strats today, so we're gonna go for the lost artifacts. We're gonna go for something that I usually don't go for. I do I dislike heroes so much that this path seems to me. One of the most useless ones. So yeah, that is exactly why we are going for it. Because yeah, I just want to torture myself and see how it goes. Uh, on the bottom we have Sorok by Mikai. M Mikai. Uh, we have Naga player Diadon on the top of us. He went for the Hydra Hatchling, aka early game. So he chose an early game uh, pusher basically. Uh, he has a fountain on my side, so he might rush me. We will see about that. Um, we have a fell orc in front of us. Blacksmith in the tavern below us. Hmm. Yeah, because of my early upgrade, I, I couldn't make it in time, unfortunately. I don't know, should I buy a unit or not? My units are super expensive, so yeah, it's probably not recommended to buy a unit early. But yeah, we're going on the bottom. There's a blacksmith in the tavern. Uh, it can give us pretty much a lot, a lot of uh, good things. So, yeah. There goes that. I feel like I'm coming back to my uh, tactics where I would upgrade. Where I would upgrade. Um, all, all my upgrades on damage first and then go for the masonry. Because, theoretically speaking, if you are rushing masonry, uh, you have like only 6 or 5 minutes advantage before you get all these upgrades, right? Like, you get masonry before all of this stuff, but... To be honest, um... I, th I don't know about that. Like, in 5-6 minutes of you pushing the upgrades, you can get basically the same result as a masonry. And that's a safer play way to play it, because you are pushing all your lanes, I guess. So, yeah, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. Also, I thought about how rich uh, the Solar Chaos player does it. He goes for the armor first as the first upgrade, right? So, mm, I'm really thinking about it. I'm really thinking about it. So, two armor compared to zero. It's like a five yeah percent difference. But well, they have plus one, so I can't really tell. But it's around so yeah, it's around so. If I were to find a unit that would not be affected, maybe. No, that would also thank you. Okay, fell orc, yeah. So, zero. And then, if you have two armor, it's 6%. Yeah, maybe maybe it's a new meta. Maybe that is a new meta, actually. To go for a one armor upgrade. And then a barrack. Because you can do it immediately, right? You can literally do it immediately. Like one armor upgrade, then into barrack. It's gonna be the same as upgrading attack and going into the barrack. So I feel like it's it's useful if your uh, damage upgrade is costing you around 200. If it's 180, 170, maybe you can manage to get it and then get the upgrade on, uh, on the barrack. But otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. That's my logic behind that, so... Zablot Ares. He wanted to set it to 200. Yeah, 200 is kind of a lot. 200 is kind of a lot. I don't know why would anyone do that. 
Now, golf with is pretty fun. Um, I enjoyed playing golf with yeah. it's, it was a pretty fun experience, I would say, so. Come on. Okay, we got the iron skin. I don't know now. The way I wanna do it, really. We're thinking about it. Probably gonna upgrade on meat now. Yeah, that I have uh, three upgrades on damage, one upgrade on magic armor, magic damage, and I have the iron skin spell, which gives me armor. I don't feel like I need armor upgrades yet. Also, I have a blacksmith, which the range of which covers even the middle units. So yeah, probably gonna upgrade the middle. Then upgrade like armor, then go for the mercenary tag, upgrade the mercenary again, or maybe like first get uh, some important tower upgrades and yeah, then go for it. Is this a new version of Solar Chaos? It's roughly new, it has been out for around already like two weeks, but yeah, it's relatively new, it's relatively new. For us, it's not really, because we have been playing it for quite a lot, so yeah. Uh, so Rock has zero upgrades. Guy is probably going for mercenary early. That's okay. I'm gonna upgrade on the middle barrack now, and go for the armor upgrades after the after that. Uh, neutral buildings are not the best ones. I do not like plus one armor to my buildings. I feel like it matters, but yeah, it matters matters if you're holding it. But if you're not holding it, like then what's the point? Like, literally, if I'm being pressured by Naga, means Naga is controlling the stone quarry. So it helps me only if I'm getting pushed from the middle, or I'm getting pushed from the bottom. And I don't see it really happening with the two mercenary upgrades on Sorok, nor I do see it happening from the... Um, the Felor who doesn't upgrade the, the middle yet, so it's kind of like, yeah, I don't know. Now nah, let's get mercenary now, probably. Um, I kinda wanna get it now, yeah. I feel like I'm already a pretty, pretty good uh, pusher. I don't need free upgrades on armor yet. My units already have decent amount of damage reduction, so yeah. Is early mercenary still a thing unless you wanna rush Archimon? Uh, I wouldn't say so. Like, right now, I didn't go for mercenary. I have good upgrades, free one, and on casters also one uh, and, and you can see right like this guy went for the mercenary and because of that he is not controlling the neutral buildings like I do the other one went for the upgrades but because yeah he, he doesn't really want to go for the caster upgrade yet and he doesn't really want to go for the range upgrades yet either so right now because I have the range upgrades I am killing him a little bit and I'm controlling the neutral buildings because of that so yeah like, I, w I would say right now my GPM, yeah, it's, it's the highest. It actually, Red has the highest, yeah, interesting. D is he Russian tier 2? Tier 2, like, uh, and farming with Infernos, but I didn't see Infernos. Yeah, there is, like, a very interesting tactic for the Fell Orc, and that is uh, a rush tier 2 main and uh, summon Infernos early. So I would say, like, uh, one upgrade on armor, not to lose lanes. Uh, the rush tier 2, summon infernos, and maybe then like uh, keep on pushing upgrades or something, like I don't know, can infernos actually capture the neutral buildings, I wonder, but like yeah, the infernos are pretty strong, they're pretty pretty strong. Okay, there go my uh, 4 upgrades on armor. Gonna make uh, four upgrades and see. No, he's still tier one. Then I guess he was pushing other players. Normally with uh, tier two barracks. Very bad idea to use your uh, Z spell on range units, by the way, because there is nothing that you can hit them with now. Like so, yeah, you ha you have to cast it with on melee units. You have to cast it on melee units, like range units is useless. Unless you have two uh, simultaneous casts 
which is pretty hard to get. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that barrack has seen uh, better days, I guess. But yeah, okay, I'm not pushing anymore. So yeah, four upgrades on um, armor. Now I'm going to tag, and I think that I'm gonna probably get one point in scourging beam, maybe one point in cleaving attack, and go for the masonry, and then go for attack. Like these four points are pretty important, probably what I'm going for. So. I remember the troll game you had where Fellow crashed the fuck out of the Infernos. Yeah, I. It's the first time I ever have seen it in my life, and I really liked it. Because it, I feel like Infernos are just uh, pretty broken, so yeah. I pretty liked it, I pretty liked it. I feel like I overdid with the units, I summoned too many, and they're very pricey. I wasted right now um, 260 gold. But maybe it was actually good. Yeah, actually, I feel like it's good now, now that I look at it. Because he has a tier 2 unit, Foundation, which is Devotion Aura, and yeah, yeah, I feel like it was the right choice, actually, it was the right choice. Do I need to get extra units or not? I feel like not. I really don't want to. It's 130 gold. So yeah, I just don't want to. Nice, alright. Most important thing is to kill uh, siege units fast. They're getting pushed. The other one is catching up. He got his caster upgrade. He's getting ra the range upgrade. So yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty rough for me right now. Uh, I can't lose more HP. It's very good timing for attack, actually. Finally. So yeah, this is just going to save my day now. This crystallization. Uh, on top, I will also need to use uh, Z spell now. So yeah, that goes that. Now let's research uh, the, what is it, the, scour the scourging beam, scourging beam, um, what else is good? Yeah, the, the damage upgrades, the damage upgrades or cleave, it's hard to say, I feel like damage upgrades are better, yeah, because all my units benefit from them, so it's pretty good. So I bought n now 9 units, pretty a lot. I don't like those numbers, you know, 9 units is really, really a lot. And yeah, I'm, I'm kind of falling apart. So, okay, he summed the Infernos here. Yeah, Infernos are farming meat now. Pretty powerful. Can I reach this? No, I can't reach this totem. Oh, I could actually. Maybe I could. Yeah, this is this is exactly like this is my strat, but I also get masonry. This is exactly how I play, but I also get masonry and I upgrade middle. I used to upgrade on the side lanes, ignoring middle, and skip masonry. Because of late, my tier two is uh, yeah. Because now I do that, my tier two is very late, and as a result, you saw like my barracks almost getting destroyed. But I survived. It's just like the fact that, yeah, if, if things would go a little bit um, differently, like, would I survive or not? That's another question, yeah. That's really another question there. Okay, let's get the cleave now that I have, um, yeah, 6 upgrades on attack plus the cleave. I feel like it's pretty good. And I really want to get now masonry more. Like, I want to get 4 masonry upgrades. Like, pretty early. It's minute 14. My two masonry upgrades happened at like minute 7 or 8, right? And now I'm gonna get uh, two extra masonry upgrades on minute 14, 30, like something like that. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty interesting, yeah, because like um, me, Diadon, the Naga player, and uh, Sorok. We all have very good upgrades on units. And because of that, when we are pushing, yeah, the pushes are very powerful. Powerful enough for our opponents to have to use uh, defensive spells. Our tier 3 barrack. Oof, oof, tier 3 barrack, mate. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop then with my masonry. I, I have to match it immediately, otherwise my barrack is going to get pushed too much, so yeah. Maybe not. I just don't know. Yeah, I feel like I have to address it. I have to address it. Like, that's a definitely a threat for my barrack, so... We are going to... We are going to, we are going to upgrade the barrack. I know that I took the foundation for the heroes, and I'm not using the heroes, by the way, but I feel like it's fun, funny, to play that way. Because, yeah, it's like literally... Why, why did you pick the foundation then anyway, right? So, it's pretty funny, I feel like. To go for it and not use the heroes. I mean, I'm gonna use them late game. So just hopefully, like, late game they're gonna... Um, get the levels and artifacts, the items, fast, I guess. Fuck, I didn't get it in time, but it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so I addressed the tier 3 threat. Watching for Diadon if he's gonna upgrade it. If not, I'm gonna just continue my development. Um, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like I gotta stop with the masonry for a little bit. Maybe I, I'm gonna get a caster upgrade. Caster upgrade will help me against green. Like... It's gonna help me on each lane, but it, versus green especially because I have two casters on this side. Gotta not forget to repair my buildings. Okay, let's get the caster upgrade. Yeah, and after caster upgrade we will see. If the add-on gets tier 3, we also get tier 3. If he doesn't get tier 3, we go for the masonry. Um, yeah, I have one point in both cleave and uh, the beam. I feel like the beam is going in to remain this way forever, like I'm not gonna level it up. But the lightning arrows, like the lightning arrows is a very good upgrade, yeah. Makes my archers have uh, <clears throat> like cleave damage, so LU damage. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, green summon the hero on the middle, there is a tier 3 barrack by Diadon on the middle as well. So green is going to farm him. I feel like Diadon view enrage and summon a hero to kick out his hero out. So yeah, we have some time for ourselves, I guess, to do some manipulations. I could also, by the way, I could try to rush green. I I could try to rush green with my hero right now. I feel like that's a very good idea because of my hero foundation. I do benefit from my heroes. And yeah, I, I either use spell or I summon a hero right now, right? So I feel like perhaps summoning a hero is a good idea. Perhaps summoning a hero is a good idea. Just waiting for the melee units to be a little bit closer. Okay, yeah, there they are. There is my food delivery, give me a sec. Okay, 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 uh, yeah. So, did you don't go for tier 3? No, then we don't go for it yet. Uh, we can go for masonry extra upgrade. It's good, it's good. Uh, apparently, my hero is losing a lot of HP, but I feel like he's gonna be fine. He should be fine. He's one of the best heroes, he has like a lot of healing, he has a regeneration aura. Also, he got an item for 500 HP. Pretty ironically. Um, yeah, I feel like one upgrade in Lightning Arrows, if he doesn't upgrade his barrack. Yeah, there you go, okay, good. Alright, be right back, give me a second. Please tell me my barracks are safe. Good. Good. Uh, yeah, uh, Burger King. Well, I have been ordering from the sushi restaurant for a week or something. So, I'm back to 
uh, not so healthy food, I guess. Ah, shit. I gotta wash my hands. At least use this uh, wet toilet, or how do you call it? Moist toilet? Okay. So, yeah. I don't know. The other one is playing passively, so I'm gonna respect that and upgrade on middle instead. I got a benefit from my um, caster upgrades, so yeah, I gotta upgrade somewhere. So we're gonna upgrade on middle. Gonna upgrade on middle. By the way, yeah, so how is my bottom barrack uh, push is going on? He used the X spell to defend. And now summons a hero. We have two items, which is a health stone and a close of attack. Um, I gotta get a second low in lightning arrows, ideally, so... The lightning arrows proc more often. If my hero going to die, I can send him on mid. But, yeah, it's generally... Um, Huge waste of gold, if you ask me. <laughs> huge, huge waste of gold. Okay, nuggets. Okay, he upgrade, uh, yeah, barrack to tier 3. I guess I'm good. The only problem is that both in like in all these uh, fast food restaurants, in all they did, they stopped uh, giving you a free. a free sauce. Like, they, I, I remember from my childhood, they would also give you so many sauces for free. Like, literally, they, they don't even ask you, do you want a sauce? No, they just, they just give you a lot of sauces. The social restaurants are doing right now that thing. Um, but now, they don't give you shit, mate. And they cost like one dollar each or something. I ordered a burger and got 10 mayo, mustard and ketchup packets. Actually, mayonnaise is uh, popular in like uh, Europe and US. Like, is it actually a thing for that or not really? Hey, you got an item, which is a fighter's gauntlet. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Well, memes aside, the item foundation that gives me items is not that bad on the Draenei because the Draenei have pretty good heroes, pretty good heroes, like these guys, you can see right now, his tranquility is just broken, healing up so many units, and he resurrects units. Nice, good, another item. Yeah, if you kill an enemy hero with your hero, you can call it worth it. Uh, worth of summoning. Yeah, my NS is really popular in a dance game. <laughs> Why dance game then? Okay, yeah, lightning arrows. What else is good? Um, well, I'm not really sure. I feel I feel like it's just later with the passives. Max armor plus uh, spell resistance, like these two things, and that's it. <clears throat> Everything else, I I kind of stop liking it. Uh, maybe like, uh, yeah, blocking the damage is also good.
My hero has already two complex items. I'm holding right now all the neutral buildings. Pretty OP, pretty OP. Let's get the cleave on the O2. Okay, yeah, let's go, let's go cleave low three, then we tag, then we tag. Oof. I feel like Jadon is not using defensive spells on anyone but me, because his mana is so full compared to mine. I feel honored, but in the same time, I feel bad because it means he's not being pressured by other players. So it's most likely like that he can be the winner of his game. And how the fuck are you not using your defensive spells? <laughs> like, what the fuck? That's a very good combination, by the way. When your units on mid. A sleeping through, but the hero remains to farm the middle. Like that's very good combo. Yeah, the units are getting clipped by my Alec Riders, you can see that. Pretty OP. I already get KFC. Hello. Oof. Chip onion, cucumber, and mayo, and throw you in it. Chew for an hour. Ah, uh, there are two burgers that have uh, mayo in it. It's like a chicken burger and uh, filet of fish, right? So. I kind of like both. I feel like it's called uh, tartar sauce, right? So, what's up, Phantom? How are we doing? Ah, we tagged. Mm, just thinking, like, what to do right now. I like summoning this guy fast would be funny, but I don't have cash for it. So maybe, maybe use this and then summon the guy. One thousand more and fast. Let's use it to kill the units before they regenerate. So, rock is known for a good regeneration, so yeah. Uh, he gonna allow it. He gonna allow it, man. Mm. Yeah, damage upgrades are good. This guy has three items, which are pretty powerful. I feel like meme society is a good foundation. If you survive early in mid game, this is actually a good foundation. You can play around that. You can play around that. Let's get a cleave low for to forget about it. Alright, more upgrade some damage. Yeah, I, I would assume my GPM right now is good. You can see that, yeah. It's not like super like income difference, but I feel like it's good. I bet it's good. Uh, Xerox by red. Okay. I wonder on, on which side. That non survive. Okay, so he summons both Xerox and he summons um, the Blade Master guy. Hmm. I 
My hero finally slipped through. I wonder if I'm gonna get this ziggurat or not. We got a Sobi mask. I don't know if it's good on Adol or not. Looks not bad. Looks not that bad, I guess. Ideally it would be tier 4 better because my units upgrades are very good right now. But I feel like I might need a hero instead. Nah, nah, a barrack upgrade is better. Come on. Just need to keep on summoning units when I have cash. Yeah, should be fine. Just gonna kill the Myrmidons first. He's actually doing very well against my super unit. Yeah, he has three heroes. And yeah, he's killing him with uh, only three heroes. Pretty well played, pretty well played. Need extra units or not? Like this. Fuckers are so annoying. Nah, don't think so. They are very low. They are very low, all three of them. I hate it. I hate it so much. What the fuck? I know, I, I feel I feel cocky, I can get maybe like a caster upgrade right now before they're gonna push me. I feel like it's gonna be fine, but who knows. It's like who to summon? I can summon Velen, I can summon this guy from the middle if you ever happen to reach him. The other one is really pushing upgrades, he has like 8-8 eight, eight right now. Summoned a super unit. I guess that's against the like, Xerox. I doubt it's against me. I didn't even send him units. I mean heroes. Hmm. There's a whole chaos happening in the red base. I didn't get gold for it, what the fuck, why? I summoned him again, I know he's super greedy, but I really want to summon him again, you know? Try not to hit heroes, so my adult will kill them all. And get items. He needs to last hit everything himself. Nice, okay, he got uh, another item. I thought about what do I what am I saving up for? And I figured out I'm probably saving up for um Barrack upgrade. Yo, he has good items. He has very good items. It might it might be the push. It might be the push on green. If I summon extra hero right now. Yeah, that might be it. That might be it. But it's really like a mid man. If, if I'm going to fail on pushing green right now. Uh, I'm gonna be in trouble. But it, it looks like the other one is really busy with... Um, I know, whatever. Shit. Insufficient gold. Insufficient gold. 
Come on. Come out. Uh, it's kind of bad that they share auras. He has Horn of the Druids. This guy also has Horn of the Druids. But I mean, items are in G. I could actually sell the items, yeah. Mm. Don't waste my time. I just don't know how to do it properly. Sell level 3 item. Like, I, I, can't, I can't sell low 3 item, I guess. I can sell only level 2. Correct, right? Oh shit. Oh shit, mate. Yeah, that's um... Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Yeah, so the other one's pushing me because he sees that I am distracted by other things, so... Yeah, you have a very low HP barrack. Have a very low HP barrack. Can I redirect them or not? There you go. Good. Can you reach here? Yeah, you can. Mm, I know that the units aren't coming, it's pretty bad, but not much I can do about that, so... to redirect them at least. Come on, kill that pizza. Nice. Yeah, they really starts with a problem that it might expire soon. That's my one. Oh it's not it's not melee. It's not melee unit. Okay. Uh, there are no units to refocus my damage to be. Um, I feel like she's dying. Maybe I don't need to do anything now. Maybe I don't need to do anything now. So we're all good. <clears throat> please, please just die. Surprisingly, Akama didn't die. Usually, Akama dies on me first, but looks like he didn't. He even got himself some items. He probably assassinated uh, uh, Athisa or like whatever her name is. I have a lot of cash. Just saying. A huge fuck ton of cash right now. Alright. So I should do something, but I don't know what. Uh, I feel like it goes well with the cleave. I really like the idea of getting that. Just don't know how to play it properly. Hmm. 
can get one level in these things. I still, I still have like four upgrades on armor to go for, and I still have like a whole bunch of upgrades for my siege units and base defense. So we are on that track right now. All my heroes are out and getting items. Edo has a bunch of cool items. Valen is not getting any for the time being. Um, I just don't know. Here with the armor, probably. It's the right way. I don't like upgrading Scourge Beam because... I feel like at level 1 it's already good. Next level is to reduce the AoE damage. The AoE of effect. The AoE of, like... It's 175, then 150, then 125. Like, it's pretty bad. I know the damage increases, but... What's the point if the LE decreases also by 25, so it's kind of like, yeah, it's why. Mm. Yeah, this is one pretty fun thing, yeah. Completely block the damage. Could get that one. I, I have the cash from something, but I have the cash. Yeah, you're gonna use the shockwaves soon. I'm calling on it. I feel like he's waiting for the pushes from all three sides to use it. You're gonna get a gajillion amount of gold from that, yeah. I'm very lucky that they survived. Dude, this is... <laughs> what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Holy shit! Holy shit! Yo, what the fuck? What the f Why are there so many of them? It's a swarm. The swarm of Draenei. I've never seen that amount of units before. I mean, Drena at least. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> what the fuck was that? What's so OP? <laughs> Yo, GG.